Welcome to the Upgraded Coffee Bar. Before we begin, if you are new here, my name is Libby and I like to share all the things. I love to share about the home, travel, and our lifestyle here. But today we're just going to talk about the updates that I've done with my coffee bar. So with that said, let's begin. And to start off, we will talk about this shelf right here. This is from Ikea. I love this. At first when I bought it, I was like, dang, this is too like very protruding. But when I got this table, it just looks really good together. This is so cute. This is from World Market. I got four of them and I've got toffee, salted caramel. And here are the other two bottles right here vanilla and lavender stickers on here i got from etsy when i first saw it it looked really like high quality very nice it looked thick but when i got it it's just literally printed sticker paper but it is very cute like the design is really cute but it's very like you can literally do it yourself and i also added this glass jar for tea this tea is so good it is filled with ginger tea it's round and pretty much all it is is crushed powdered ginger this is very potent though it's very very gingery so it is very good when you are feeling very maland and i have this glass jars right here in the middle for my espressos and I have written espresso and lungo or lungo. I don't know how to pronounce it. Maybe I should get my phone. Lungo. Lungo. These glass jars are so big. You can fit a lot in here. Usually before I put liquid creamers. I don't really use the liquid creamers anymore. So I just use this for the espresso pods. I just put espresso and lungo on these ones. But before, since I had the liquid creamers, I actually put flavored and plain before. You can check out my old video and now you can see it over there. But as you can see here, the stuff that you wrote before will definitely stay. But you can't really see it once you've written your new things. I do have some Pete's brands. I am not really a fan of it. It's very, I don't know, I just don't really like it. On this one, I have a lot from the Nespresso. I have the Stockholm Lungo, the Indonesian one. Oh my gosh, this is very, very potent. It's very bold. I love bold, but this is oh, hecka bold. So I only use that when I make lattes where it's mixed in with other things, not really by itself. So for my last video, I did not have any radon mugs and now i have a whole bunch showing you if you have the one that says a lovely and comfort faith and coffee hubby and wifey i still have a few of the same things here but i did add a measuring spoon set and espresso machine i actually have a full video of this beautiful thing and you can check it out right there. This is the Ensenza machine, the little mini one, and I also got this uh, milk frother that came in the bundle. Now I want to share with you guys these two super adorable little mini glass jars. This is also from World Market. I just stumbled upon this without really looking for it. Okay, just kidding. Yeah, I was looking for it, but I was looking for a totally different thing. But when I saw this, I was just like, this is the perfect what it comes with little wooden spoons and it just oh, it's just so easy to use and this is cork cap right here and what i have in this one is just smoked salt and turbinado sugar i looked up some recipes and salted caramel mocha with this as a topping is just ooh, it's just a nice touch and this other one that i have is cinnamon spice mix and the reason why i even just created my own was because they didn't have it in store and so of course you know if you do that you're like hmm maybe i can make it myself and lo and behold i had everything already in my kitchen and just mixing them up together and there you go i also added a greenery behind the two glass jars this is a eucalyptus stem i still got the sticker on it it's hearth and hand from target and i just put it in the back because it gives such a lively color in this rather dead area just kidding. 
Coffee gives you life and so does fake greenery. And I also have the same decor here. I'm pretty sure I have the file somewhere. So if you really want it, just message me and I'll send it to you. And over here, I've got the two canisters from Ikea. This is so awesome. Just, I don't know what else to say. And I still have the same spoon and spoon holder. By the way, the bottom shelf is perfect for putting oatmeal packets. All right, the other thing that I added was this um, serving wooden bowl. I don't actually know what this is specifically. I actually forgot where I got it, but I use this for extra espresso things and I don't have any more here, but I don't know. It's, it's really nice. Um, at first I was going to use it for a resting spoon, but it just did not work. With that said, we're going to move on to the resting plates for the spoons. It's still the same as the last time, but I added this wooden thing right here. So it matches with the espresso machine razor that I had because the Azenza Mini is very short and it did not look great with the Keurig on the other side. It was just so uneven. I just put that wooden razor and it looks perfect. But then it just needed a little bit more wooden color. So I just put this on the other side. Okay, now let's look at the actual table. This is the same table from Ikea. Let's look at what's inside. The same thing. Pacific Bowl. Here it comes. Uh -huh. And on the other side. Oh, and that is where the Nespresso booklets went. Hmm. I got a whole bunch of crystal lights, some teas, reusable keyrings, some jasmine teas. And wow, that's really dirty. Let's wipe it. Now let's moosey on down to the left side of the coffee bar and I get a new thing. This is an actual coffee pot that actually brews. And this is also pretty affordable. You guys can always check out the links below for all of the things that you see here. And this one comes with a reusable filter, which is pretty awesome. And this is just how it looks like and all the features that I can't talk about. Now let's look at the baskets underneath that. This is still the same basket. Pretty sure I still have a whole bunch of the same stuff. Got hot chocolate, extra Keurig pods. And on the second one, I have a bunch of tea, my green tea. Ugh, a lot of teas. And then I also have this Your Super Golden Mellow and Moon Balance. This Moon Balance is for hormonal balance which actually works oh my gosh ladies if you have bad pms symptoms try that and this one is a distressor and it will relax you oh, if you have anxiety oh my gosh this is the dream for you try it with almond milk finally on to the last basket which my rabbit chewed miffy what are you doing anyway in here we've got extras i've got this um grounds coffee from oregon this should also be up there, not there. And this is a mix from Costco. Oh, it is so good. All right, guys, this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you found some great ideas for your coffee bar. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. If you're looking for more videos to watch on my channel, check out this video right here. This is actually the first part of this coffee bar. So you can see how it looked like before. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll We'll see you guys in my next video oh and don't forget have a beautiful and wonderful day